Hi folks, um, on the last one I, I don't know if you heard somebody in the background they found, it was just a kid who found um, one of my dogs who was very naughty and she thought she was lost but she has this little game of from trying to get attention by holding back and so she, apparently she's just lost it, well she's found the dog and it's run home to the neighbours but I'm only saying that just in case you did hear somebody in the background um, Anyway, kind of had to pick her up. Not everyone would, you see. Um, but she does that. Like, I'm always getting told off. People think she's been lost and she isn't. She's just not. Uh, but anyway, so today I just thought I'd cover the disaster. I think Hollywood's dead, by the way. I think it's killed itself off. <sighs> With the latest Indiana Jones film and all this. And uh, it's been going in a while. Personally, I'd watch, you know, if I go on Netflix, I watch, sorry, hic well, I've got hiccups. If I go on Netflix, to be honest, I just watch the Chinese films. They're usually really good. The, the American and English ones, bland, dull, pointless. Anyway, but yeah, I just thought, I mean, it started off the bomb, wasn't it? With, And you'd have thought that it would have been lessons learnt time with the um, last, oh, you know, that one with the women, the um, Ghostbusters film. Now, actually, I was looking forward to that. And I could not believe how boring it was. They just felt no one wanted to be there. It felt they were making it up on the spot. You felt they were just trying to recreate. Like, it just felt like something that, it just reminded me of in that 1980s children's, thing what you'd watch on a children's TV show where they're just mocking doing their version on the cheap of a film it didn't feel in any way that film was you know would it cost more than 10 quid to make it felt awful they didn't feel like that a script didn't feel like anyone had written anything it felt all made up on the spot it didn't feel and feel like you know you had all the original cast coming in looking like they didn't want to be there the people in it just didn't bond I mean you had some talent there and you just they just oh it was just dreadful and it could have been a great film I mean you know I'd have set in a different location and come out with a new I know someone's coming by the way hang on One sec. So I just walking past people. Um, rather than turn it off because then I always forget what goes with what, if you see what I mean, because I have to cut all these clips together so I'm a bit lazy, I just leave it recording where I can. If I've not recorded anyone's talking, and I don't think it's a problem. So, um, that could have been a great film, but for some reason it just felt lazy. And since then, for some, I mean, they hammered. One of my favourite films of all was the Star Wars films. Good grief, they made the recent films dull. I even love the, I love the original three. I love the first three, the, you know, the ones that they made after, if you see what I mean. Um, but then they came out these dull, bizarre, ugh, films. That actually, f I fell asleep, I can't remember which one I watched, I just fell asleep. So now I have zero interest, I can not care less what they do with Star Wars. I'm not bothered. You know, I just, I was going to sign up to Disney Plus, but Why? boring shows I'd rather not bother I have zero interest in I've lost interest in all the superhero films recently boring I just the only one that I actually I did enjoy that Galaxy of the Ga whatever it was that was fun I haven't seen the other two I think there's two more after I'll wait till they come on TV 
Well, that was a decent film, but all these films are just dull. And so let's talk about why I wouldn't bother watching this latest Indiana film. Now, first of all, I have no problems with them having a female Indiana. I mean, personally, the woman that I forget, Phoebe, whatever her name is, from England. To me, if it were me, I'd have set, I'd have given a whole new starers and set it probably in Victorian times because to me she has a quite a Victorian look and I think it would have been quite really enjoyable to have her do some adventures in Victorian times pre-Indiana Jones. Maybe nothing gone part. I might have no connection to Indiana Jones. He could, could be his great-great-grandmother or something. But I think it would have been jolly fun just to have a whole new series because in truth you see they got lazy over the crystal one I actually don't mind the crystal thingy film except the end it just goes to poop I mean you considering that all the ideas they could have all the countries they could go to all the religions they could explore you, know, you could you could go on for eternity. You could set it in Germany, Poland, Russia, Spain. Oh, someone's coming. Hang on. They're all friendly. They just get it. It's all right. It's Sorry, Archer's being naughty again. He's friendly, he just wants to play. Um, actually, no one's around. I keep hearing voices. But all, you know, you could go, you, you've almost got an infinite amount of stars. And yet, with that crystal thing, they went, uh, I mean, it felt the ending were just not even thought about them. Some gone, ah, oh, aliens. I mean, it was just dreadful. I actually didn't mind. I mean, there's a lot of things in that film that I thought was quite fun. I mean, you know, OK, it was silly, but where the, um, he, you know, the, um, where he gets, escapes in the fridge, I thought it was a bit of a fun. It felt Indiana-ish. And the ant scene, again, felt Indiana. I mean, where, where it felt a bit flat was when they go into the crypt or whatever it is to get the... Um, soldiers or whatever it was was that where he found the skull I can't remember but that just felt bland because it just seemed to just walk under a bridge and there's the body and they were found it just you know there was no adventure there it wasn't having to you know duck you know escape um, boulders or jumping out the way of big eye and things trying to kill you anything it just was really dull and I thought that had no imagination. But the ending, the moment that they put this skull, this glass skull on the thing, it just, it didn't even look nice. It just felt, you know, it looked, it all felt a bit, bleh. it felt like it looked, at that point, it just felt like it was done by some students doing a GCSE project very quickly. It felt bad. I mean, possibly one of the problems we have is CGI. It's made people lazy and it's producing quite poor results often. But up till then, I didn't mind a film. Not as good as the first three, but I actually think it was an OK film. But what they seem to have done with this is, and again, they've spoiled it because Phoebe Whatever seems to just be the clips they released and the, you know, what people are saying. I mean, they've time-travelled, oh, come on, that's... That's what they call, isn't it? The um, jumping the shark or whatever when you've run out of ideas. That's appalling. I mean, somebody's actually... The fact that they actually said, yeah, that's fine. Whoever did, you know, they, um, they signed off money for that. I've, you know, you just got to wonder, what are they on? You go, that's a terrible idea. Again, you've got unlimited ideas, possibilities... And you've just created, you know, you could, you could set this in Africa. You know, 
Egypt, all these amazing places you could go to. But no, they're, they've, you know, all the religions and stuff. Make up a religion if you need to. You know, I mean, obviously, I mean, the most obvious is Egypt, exploring the... I mean, I know it's been done to death, but it's still exciting. Go to England with all the old buildings, and Germany with all them old castles that look pretty, and, you know, you got all the pretty buildings in Poland and all these things. It's like, I'm France. I mean, you can go through every country. Ireland, that's got a lot of history. It's just... Why, why go time travel? I mean, you must know that's just killed it straight dead. Honestly, but, you know, she's there grinning all the time. I mean, this is the thing. If it had been me, and you wanted to start a new franchise... First of all, you'd, like I said, I think she has a sort of Victorian look. And you wouldn't make her perfect, because Indiana's not perfect. He's always making mistakes and having fun. Um, and that's what you do. You, you, could, you could have had her, not grinning, but, you know, just... You could have had somebody say in Victorian times and, you know, all sorts of adventures she could have done. A whole new, not, you know, didn't have to be anything like Indiana Jones. You could have completely created a new sort of storyline, a character. But, I mean, you know, when you see her just grinning, you think somebody on the thing would say, that isn't working, it looks dreadful, it just makes you look smug. I mean, when have you ever seen anyone just grin through a film before? And by the way, there are all these films like Indiana and Ghostbusters, and I think there's a few others. Oh, yeah, um, hang on, I'll just record the dog drinking water, see how it does. Oh, she stopped. Um, oh, she started again, I've walked past. Um, what's the other one? The Mummy. They're all sort of modernised versions of 1940 films, wonderfully done, very inventive. And that's why they're lovely. They sort of modernised what a ninety because if you love all these nineteen forty films, they're great romps, great fun. I think I'll just turn back, make the walk a bit longer. And so when you divert from that, you know they, they, you have to make them. I don't know. It's. I mean the, the fact that they made it depressing as well because apparently his son's died now he could have had some fun it's the 60s why didn't you just say oh he's become a hipper and have him go oh good grief or something that'd have been fun or even if his wife why, why divorce him why can't his wife go on her own and maybe you know if she's not in the film you could always i mean you see her at the end apparently but you know you could have had her going on an adventure and that could have explained her not being in it it's just you want to watch a film to cheer you up, not go in it and go, instantly, this is depressing. I mean, that's the first thing. I couldn't watch it because whatever you do, knowing that, I'm just going to be depressed. I'm not going to be happy. The whole point of the Indiana films is, you said, you, they work because you're feeling good. It makes you feel good. It's a bit like one of the greatest starts of any film is, uh, I mean... The first film is great because the first few minutes is a film on its own. It's exciting. You go, woo! I mean, you could watch that, and that's worth. That's just worth admission alone. I mean, that's iconic, but it's worth watching just alone for that. And again, one of the most exciting films starts. I'd say is that Bond film where he's skiing and he comes off the jumps off the cliff and it goes silent, and then he pulls his. Um, parachute and then you get the bomb theme starting wow that is cool makes you feel good you happy oh it's a bit sexist no one's interested who cares you want a bit of sexism yes i love it it's fantasy so i'm not going to go out and murder somebody if i watch a you know terminate a film it's just an hour of pure just to switch off that's what people want this is what people don't get i think in hollywood they don't understand people just want to switch off for an hour or two and be happy and come out and think, oh, that was fun. 
I mean, oh God, it's just painful because they've not done, you know, the thing is, if you're starting on, this is another reason why I think they'd have been better off setting her in Victorian times because, right, this is supposed to be set in the 60s. I think it loses a lot when you start shooting the sort of a 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s because it doesn't have that sort of fantasy element, fun element. And you know, you've got all the modern gadgets which spoil things. You say in Victorian times, she's having to do it with like Victorian stuff. And that adds to the, you know, the more excitement. I mean, it's a bit like today. I mean, if you went orienteering, you just pick your phone up and it'll tell you where to go. Easy. You deal with the orienteering in, what, 20, I mean, 30, 40 years ago, you don't have these gadgets. Well, maybe you did the GPS a few years ago, but you see what I mean? It's, there's more an excitement back then. But yeah, the... It's unbelievable they, they just had her just grinning at everything. Who, 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 who's writing this? And the lines that are, it's just... I mean, this is amateur hour. This is what you do. You know, this is what a guy on YouTube does for fun. In his spare time, would, you know, if we pump that out, that's, that's acceptable. Him and his mates, but to actually say this cost millions uh, I mean well, I can go back in time I mean you know how ludicrous can you get it's just a ridiculous star oh yeah the, the land are planned you know it's just what an awful storyline I mean, seriously, how can some... Oh. But this is why I think Hollywood is... Uh, I mean, people are saying, oh, this is what Hollywood should do. Why? It's finished. I don't think there's anything now to watch. And why would I? Why would I want to go to watch anything Hollywood makes? It's just... Ugh. I mean, I don't think they'll ever make... They'll ever make anything again worth watching. This is why I think it's worth now, you know, we should be celebrating Chinese films or Indian films or all the others, Polish, um, South Korean and all this. They're the ones making this stuff, great stuff now. You know, they're not using massive budgets and yet they're great imaginations and they're not worried about political correctness, are they, folks? Yeah, they, if someone went up to them and started saying, oh, you've used sexist language, they just look at you. Sod off, they'd probably say in whatever language they write everything in. <sighs> yeah. It's over. It's just remakes, isn't it? That's all I can think of. Bland remakes. They go, let's take something original. And obviously we can't remake it because it'll be sexist and not for the times, they'll claim. Even though... The originals will still get more views. That's their point. It's not working. This, if if you think they'd sit down and go on about, you know, all this nonsense about not for the times, all the sexist stuff from the seventies, eighties, and whatnot, still sells. Perhaps we shouldn't um, be bothering to please the woke brigade. Perhaps, perhaps what we should do is offend the woke brigade. And then we know we made a decent film. Because I'm sick of listening to authors and stuff saying, oh, I'm so sorry, I've made something that I didn't realise isn't of the time, and now I've been, you know, I've gone on a course, and oh, sod off. You've sold out. Create your own art. The whole point of art is it's supposed to, you know, it's supposed to be you. If you're making art, films, writing books, TV shows, and you're just doing it to please woke thugs, woke fascist thugs, who, you know, the, these few who aren't going to buy you, go buy you, go out and watch it, then you, you're not making art. You're censoring yourself, you're creating guff. 
that even you're not happy with. So why would you expect other people to be happy? I wouldn't be happy. I'd rather make something offensive and just go for it. You know, not worry. And if, if you got the woke brigade kicking off, I'd laugh at them. I'd go on TV and take the pee out of them. I'd sit there laughing so much and say thanks for the publicity. Keep doing it. I'd encourage them to do it. I mean, this is what I don't understand by firms and stuff. Who pander to this woke nonsense. All they're doing is saying our product's bland. Guff. Devoid of any artistic merit. I don't want to give you money to do that. I ain't going to watch your shows. It's almost as if these film firms and TV firms thinking we have no choice to watch them. Uh, you know, it's a bit. It's, this is going back to the BBC. One of the things that always makes me giggle is that you know they are they sit around saying how wonderful they are, and yet these show the pump out are often making less views than some kid who was opening a box of toys using his four-year-old smartphone. Zero cost. And yet, that kid will probably get far more views than all these boring shows that they're all telling each other how wonderful they are and how important they are. And, you know, going on the news saying, gosh, I was, you know, this person posted something, abuse, and gosh, aren't I sensitive and all this? Blah, blah, blah. It vomit. I'm not that, you know. Garbage time. Oh dear. <laughs> but yeah, I think Hollywood is finished. And why shouldn't be? Why should they have been forever around? They used to make great films, Hollywood, and so did England. And in fact, let's be honest, you know, if you look at some of the old actors from the original Hollywood times a lot quit because even back then they saw it changing and said it wasn't for them. Even the 60s and 70s have said and even the 50s have said it wasn't their Hollywood. They didn't see it, they were, you know, they weren't happy about what was being pumped out. But then you sort of did have, I'd say in the 80s with Spielberg especially sort of re, you know brought the Hollywood back again they started making these wonderful films and then everyone seemed to be making wonderful films and there was an era of rebirth of Hollywood it was a different one to the original 40s the grandness it wasn't probably there but they were making still amazing films you keep getting these sort of spikes such as you know you also had the era of the cowboy films. What was that, the 60s or 50s or something? These massive, amazing feeling films. Stunningly done. We've seen all these, you know, maybe it was just a studio, but it always felt epic. Exciting. And then we had, like I said, the Spielberg era, where we had all these amazing films popped out, such as The Goon. Everything stunning. The Goonies was wonderful. And other people were making great films. Everybody were at a certain time. You could, you know, the, every film was being put out and they were exciting, the low budget ones. You look at the, even the, what do you call them, what they used to call um, video nasties, even they look spectacular to compare to today's dull films. These films that were made with pennies. These video nasties, with you know the lowest budget special effects, still feel more special than the films we have today. And what are they pumping out? Just ugh. Anyway, I'll have to go. Someone's coming. Bye.